Good morning, everybody. This morning we're doing retreat. Started last evening, our monthly day of retreat. So I'm going to keep this short, just so you have a moment here at sunrise in the Sea of Galilee on this beautiful morning. One thing the scriptures do for us, and we always turn to them constantly, like the founding documents of our existence, of our reality, of our, who we are, is they speak truth to us. And parents usually speak truth to their children. It's kind of an automatic, they want, they speak from the heart because they love the children. And the love requires to speak the truth. And God speaks truth to us. And there are two challenging big truths for us today. And the first one is a fellow in exile. His name is Danny. And he is very clearly aware that he is before God, in his presence, in God's presence. And he's very aware of the troubles of his people in exile. That's the setting. And he is pouring out his heart to God in repentance for sin, the sin of his people. And we don't like this type of confession of sin, especially when we would sense that it applies to us also. And I encourage you to take the link this morning and just take it with great serenity. Now, maybe it's not possible to be serene at the first moment because you are like very sensitive. You feel intruded upon maybe. You prefer to keep your head in the, in the sand and not notice. But God speaks truth to us. But there's also another truth that's there that's very, very, very special. And that's in the Psalm. Let me just pull it out. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. And that's humanity learning how God deals with us. Because he doesn't deal with us according to our sins. He deals with us according to his redeeming mercy. And sometimes it is not easy for us to... Assimilate the great riches of this teaching. And with this teaching, we are able to serenely do our confession of sin before God. This is very much part of Lent. It's the honesty, it's coming before a marriage partner and saying, I have neglected you. I have been judgmental about you. I have been, I have omitted things I should have done. I have neglected you. I haven't loved you with my heart. I haven't cherished you. I haven't honored you. I've lacked respect. I haven't taken you into account. And there's a great chance for renewal when there's honesty in 
the background of our thoughts, our heart. When there's a will to be frank. Here we have an Egyptian goose. We have two. So maybe we have a little surprise for you here for the camera this morning. Can you guess what it is? Quack, 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 quack. And this is the first time I see five of them. One of our volunteers alerted me yesterday. There are five little ones. Look at that. Quack, 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 quack. Normally we saw four. And this time there were five. We've seen a few families of them up to now. Quack, 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 quack. You're okay. The people just want to see you guys. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, 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 quack. Isn't that mar marvelous? New life and so tender and this incredible care that the, these two parents, his mom and dad have for their five little ones. Quack, 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 quack. We love you. So imagine these are ducks and they have a couple of years of life. And the intensity of care and love and protection. And this is just another reflection of light on the way the Creator is toward us. And we're endowed with liberty and we make very, very wrong mistakes. And that's called sin. And that's what the readings are about today. In this time of Lent, very appropriate that we consider this theme of conversion, of repentance. And then just to wrap up, move on to the gospel, because a consequence comes from this. Jesus himself had said, I not, have not come to condemn, but to save. We are redemptive people. We are a people with a culture of redemption. Our culture is to redeem. And it's a hard time for us to learn that, but that's actually the natural, the natural of every parent, to help their child to clean their nose, to, to look after their teeth, but especially to become kind and good and helpful and constructive people. And that's innate, like it is in those two Egyptian geese for the little ones. We want the next ones to thrive, to flourish. It's our glory that they flourish. And this is God's glory that we flourish. And so we don't approach other people with condemnation. Do not judge and you will not be judged. Stop condemning and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and gifts will be given to you. A good measure packed together, shaken down and overflowing will be poured into your lap. People, God bless you. See you later, alligators. May you be very blessed today. Pray for us on retreat, that our hearts will be open, that the Holy Spirit can do everything that is needed and required. Spirit who gives life.